Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, it's Korzak. Welcome back to part 11 of the Dark Cloud 2 walkthrough. So we're continuing off with Balance Valley. So it's time to go officially start chapter 3. So this is Balance Valley. That's right. There are four plateaus in this valley, but the height of those plateaus can change. Pretty strange, huh? Wow. Huh? There are houses over there. Might be people as well. Let's go check it out. Somebody. His name is Crest. Do you know him? Crest? So you've come to see Crest, have you? Yes, that's right. Crest is dead. Dead? Oh no! So Griffin's henchmen got him too. Now what are we gonna do? And who's this? Lynn was Crest's apprentice. She's been bedridden with shock ever since his death. Unfortunately, it looks like her illness has taken a turn for the worse. Bad. We need a house call from Dr. Dell. Dr. Dell? He's the head doctor in Palm Brinks, the best doctor around. Uh, but he looks like a duck, so don't be too surprised when you see him. You know a doctor? Yep. Looks like Lynn can't be moved, so we'll get the doc to come out here. Monica, let's get back to Palm Brinks. Yeah, I guess we'd better. Please do hurry back. Right. All right, so we need to go over to Palm Brinks and go pick up the doctor. So Monica does run slightly faster, as we've said, so we're gonna run over there with her. have some nice ambient sounds in this game. I think I deleted my picture of the moon. I need to show this stuff to Donnie. I'm not going to delete those, but I do need to show those photos to Donnie. 
And I am going to snag up a picture of the moon because this guy will actually be our follower. And uh, you need to give him a photo of the moon for him to go with you. But that's for a later episode. Well, if it isn't Max, what's up? Please, Dr. Dell, come with us. A really sick girl needs your help. Hmm, not good. Not good at all. A few more days like this and she's done for. Like the audio glitch? <laughs> that was weird. since you left. Hurry, do something, anything. Hmm, not good. Not good at all. A few more days like this and she's done for. Looks like she's been hit by toxic mist, and a pretty strong dose of it, too. Regular medicine won't touch it. Toxic mist? You see more of it these days. But we still don't know what causes it. There's absolutely nothing we can do. There's nothing you can do! Please try something! <sighs> hmm. I've got it. Lao Chao. He can cure her. Huh? Lao Chao? That's right. In my time, there's a legendary chef named Lao Chao. They say if you eat his miracle dish, it'll cure any kind of sickness on the spot. Well, where do we have to go to see him? In the future, a place called Starlight Temple will be built in Balance Valley. That's where all the sages gather. There's a place there called Lao Chao's Bistro. Lao Chao is the head chef. If we bring Lao Chao's Bistro back and go see him, we might be able to save Lin. All right, Monica. Just like we did in Sindane, we have to collect geostones here and use them to change the future, right? Exactly, but we've got to bring Lao Chao's bistro back first. Then let's do it. Let's save Lin. There's a passage in this valley that goes to the sea. It's called Starlight Canyon, and I bet we can find the geostones for this valley there. It's a dangerous area, though. I'm fine with that. Let's go! I'll be in the train. Just give me a call if you need me. I'm counting on you. You've got to save Lynn. We're going to save her. Don't worry. In order to save Lynn, who was on the verge of death, we had to venture into the dangerous Starlight Canyon. Although I was worried about Crest being gone, I concentrated on Lynn, who was still with us. Chapter 3, The Sage of the Stars Starlight Canyon starts. Let's get what we need to revive the origin points here. But before we change Balance Valley back, I've got to warn you about a few things. Balance Valley is divided into four fields. 
The height of the four fields changes depending on the weight of the buildings we put on each. If we want to put a big building there in the future, the height of all four fields has to be the same. Wow, sounds a little harder this time. Yeah, but we can do it. I just know it. Okay. So, I'm just kind of going over here to kind of unlock the area on the map. But before we actually start, because Dr. Dell joined our party, we uh, kind of lost our third party member. So we're just going to head over to the station and pick one up. So I am going to grab Borneo. Actually, I'm going to sell him some of my bombs and then have Eric make me some more. And then um, we'll have a max stack of bombs and then we'll bring Borneo with us. Although this guy may not be fully recovered yet. No, he actually can't even make one stack. That sucks. Oh well, whatever. We'll bring him with us to get us some more stuff. We're also going to feed our fish. We only have the one right now. We're going to have to do some more fishing, but we just got to keep this guy fed so his stats can keep going up over the course of the game. All right, so we're going to go on over to the canyon now. They give you plenty of time to uh, beat these levels, like the you can get the medal for doing this mission in under 7 minutes, and that is very doable. <laughs> Even like at this level, it's very doable. So we do have the Jirak gun for Max, but I'm not going to use it yet. I want to get the bell trigger to plus 5, and then I'll start using the Jirak gun. There's also a scoop with this ram here, but we're going to leave that all until one video later. Fighting this guy with Steve kind of sucks. If you're using the barrel cannon anyway. If you're using your fists, it's a little bit easier. Because then you can just block the charge. Yeah, but that right there is kind of eh. Oh well. Uh, I saw another one on the other side of the bridge. It seems like we have a lot of these guys to fight right now. Well, we got the meat, so we can just leave if we wanted to after we got the Geostone, but... It's, uh, for the best to just kind of clear it out right now. I mean, we're, we are also already here, and more experience never hurt. Oh, so he wasn't a ma- oh, no, there was one. Got some super hot peppers. <laughs> Those aren't particularly useful, honestly. I don't think the transition screen saying Ride Pod, Monica, or Max. I don't think it has to be that long.
Alright, perfect. Uh, always explosion. Nice. Boom. Repair powder to fix our weapons when they inevitably break. And it always takes two of those things to actually fix up Steve's stuff, you know? <laughs> We got two of them, or maybe three, hopefully just two. It's, uh, this is kind of lame. How am I, what's the best way to handle this? One at a time, if I can actually do anything. Now uh, these guys really suck. Using the barrel cannon against these things is irritating. I'm gonna take out the ram first, it's probably gonna be the best solution. I guess Max will just get the credit for that kill. Oh man, I do that and the other one starts charging at me. Managing two of them is not an easy feat. Okay. Okay, well that, <laughs> that one literally just took a step and he fell. Doesn't matter. This is like the most intense Slideshow known to man. <laughs> Ugh. Intense and tedious. But we got it done. Well, to do as little backtracking as possible, we're gonna go this way first. Since there are probably enemies over here, at least one. Nice, we needed some of those. So even if there is nothing over here, that in itself is worth the trip. We still need the Geostone, too. I'm surprised we haven't found it yet. Alright, let's fix it up a bit. Just one for now, it's fine. I'm not 100% I'm not sure how much I'm going to actually be using Steve. I think there are a couple other floors that are ride pod only. I think we lost some of those experience points. They fell over the hill. That is something that happens in this game. It's actually quite common. Well, here's the Geostone. Let's just check out this area over here first. There's nothing else. Oh, nope, there is. And the exact second I got off to. And it's one of these freaking guys. That wasn't so bad. Probably the last enemy. Nope, one more. It's a ram too, so it's nice and easy. That was a very useful item to get now. Man, it's happened like three or four times too. <laughs> Got the ride pod only wipe out. I'm surprised that took more than seven minutes. Well, you know what? The amount of... because we had to deal with those mask guys, I can see why it took more than seven minutes. All right, the giant meat. <laughs> Gonna save up. It's a good idea. We did a decent amount of stuff, so... Don't want to lose the progress. 
Monster transformation, that's actually terrible. <laughs> no, I, I'm not looking forward to doing those medals. Lynn really seemed to be suffering. When I saw her like that, Mother, I remembered back to when you nursed me when I was sick. Gonna feed our fish again. You should be able to feed them like every floor, maybe every other floor. All right, we got an elephant over here. Let's see how much damage he, we do. Definitely not feasible to just use the gun to take him out. So this is ideally a ride pod enemy. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sure if that's Iphis or if it's Elphis. <laughs> Man, his gun is so weak. Okay, well that didn't work. <laughs> The gun is kind of okay against rams, I guess. I am going to put points into the bell trigger, but it's not really a priority. Okay, well now we don't have a ride pod. I think, uh, I think it's time we let Monica come out. Show us the power of her sword, which is very good, by the way. <laughs> if I don't die... Okay, it's time to get a little bit more serious and not get munched on. It took three chapters, but here we go. It's our first on camera. Our f oh my goodness, really? Wow. <laughs> Literally didn't even have to build up the bell trigger because guess what? We got one from a chest. All strong hits. Maybe we'll run across a fountain or something. <laughs> yeah, her sword is significantly better against this than Max's wrench. Fighting these enemies with Monica is no problem, but fighting the golems is harder. The only problem with the sword is the fact that it, it goes down in weapon HP so quick. Like, I mean, I literally used half of the thing just taking out that one enemy.
going to let Max handle this. What can we do to improve this thing to make it not useless? Put some beast into it. I think that's a good idea. We have a lot of beast crystals, and there's a lot of beasts in this area, so... I am happy to put beast onto this thing. That'll actually probably be like a pretty decent damage increase, too. Because there are a lot of beasts in this area. This thing here is a beast, even. Yeah. It'll probably be more noticeable damage against the other guys, but definitely good. That's like a 40% damage increase. Not bad at all. Did we get the Geostone already? I'm gonna check. Oh, we did. Didn't even realize it. So yeah, we can just kind of leave this area. We're running low on HP. I actually think these guys are weak against the gun from what I remember. No, they are not. I was thinking about something else. Something to make these guys easier, though, is you can throw a rock at them. Do we do another clown? Seriously? Well, I've had a lot of luck with red, so let's keep up the red. Yeah, I don't need another bell trigger, so I will take those crystals happily. I think this thing's probably more weak against fire than it would be beast. Let's level up my wrench. Poison. Okay, we're done in here. We don't need anything else from this floor. We're just gonna step out of here. So, we Okay, we're back. I just had uh, Cedric fix up all my stuff while off camera. Fixed up the ride pod and uh, had Eric make us more bombs. Cool. So we're, we have to uh, attack and defeat every monster with just using our right hand weapon for this floor, for the metal I believe. No, that's the next one actually, I think. This one, it doesn't really matter what we do. We're gonna have to do the item metals later, down the road. It'll also be easier later game. The ones I'm not looking forward to doing are the metals involving uh, monster transformation. I'm really not looking forward to doing those. Where are we for my weapons? Well, I'm only going to get this thing to plus 5 and then break it down and put it onto the Jirak gun. And this thing, we're going to go the bottom route because that'll, uh, this is the route we need for the cubic hammer. And since the end game uh, trophy for Max requires him to get the supernova weapon and the legend hammer. So even though I prefer to play with the, the top end wrench, we can't get it because... The hammer is the one that's needed for the trophy.
We're gonna let Steve handle this. Let's uh, toss my fish a little bit of food. It's a good idea to do that as much as you can while leveling. Or well, I should say just kind of while going through the uh, through the game. Because you want to have a strong fish without needing to do unnecessary grinding. <clears throat> the only thing that I find that kind of sucks about feeding your fish is sometimes it'll turn the uh, game's music off and then you only have the ambient noises. It's not like terrible, but it's definitely noticeable, especially when you're used to hearing the game's music. I don't think we'll hear it again until we enter combat and then it kind of resets itself. Well, there's probably an enemy up ahead soon. Let's break this rock. Not a bad thing to pick up. All right, so the music's there. So maybe we'll go back into the normal zone music now. Nope, the aquarium just completely glitched it. Ah, nice ride pod fuel, it's helpful. Nice. Oh, we got the piece of meat, so now we just need the geostone, then we can kind of leave. Oh, well, that's beautiful. <laughs> Wait, did we get the geostone already? We may have already grabbed it, I didn't even realize it. Oh yeah, we did, so we can just kind of leave. <laughs> It's been three in-game hours already, apparently. I think uh, we were able to feed him again now. Yes. You can feed the guy like every three in-game hours or something like that. So it's the kind of thing that even if you have to grind it, it's not that bad. But it's still, doing it, doing it slowly over time will save you effort later on down the road. I need to get some more fish at some point though because I also need to raise his combat stats by putting him into the battle tank. Not a very useful thing when we're already at the end, but whatever. Uh, where is it? We must have went past it already. Or maybe I just did, wasn't paying attention, it's probably at the bottom. Yeah, it's right here. It's a nice looking... It's a nice looking piece of meat. <laughs> okay, so we have to exit the dungeon to get the music back. Yeah, there we go, it's fixed. It's kind of an annoying glitch. <clears throat> I kind of wish that it was fixed in the uh, PS4 remake, but it's not a game breaking thing, it's, but it is noticeable. We are going to leave it here for this episode though, so I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.